Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than in the past. I'm going to be going over a couple things that I've learned about 3D printing in the last couple weeks. The cliff notes of this video are just going to center around build plate adhesion and ensuring that your moving mechanical parts work the first time when you print them. For a video I'm currently working on now, I kept running into an issue with my 3D printed tools. A lot of tools have moving mechanical parts in them in a single print. For instance, a socket wrench has a gear inside so that you can turn the wrench one way and tighten a bolt, but then when you go the other way, it doesn't untighten, it just goes backwards and then you can continue to tighten it. I'm sure that you've seen a socket wrench before or at least have heard of one. And so the problem that I was having is I was printing them flat on the bed. By the end of the print, the gears would be a little bit deformed. Because of this, they just wouldn't turn. I couldn't get them to turn. I even broke off the little nub. I figured that this was probably caused by the heated bed slowly over the like three or four hours that the print was going, warping the piece and, and flattening it out just a little bit and that caused the part to fail. So what I decided to do was to print it at an angle so that the geared portion of the tool was raised above the bed so that there would be a lot less heat and it ended up working pretty well. The first one I did like this worked perfect, actually. So in the future for yourself, you know, if you have a 3D printed part like this and the heat's giving you issues, you can just raise your piece up a little bit and that will greatly reduce warping. Initially, I had assumed that there might be some issue with directly printing these tools onto the printer bed, so I used a raft, but the raft really didn't seem to do much. Maybe simply I'm using too hot of a printer bed, and I'm going to be exploring that as well because I want to get rid of as much potential error as I can. The second thing I want to go over is bed adhesion. Something I've been fighting for a while is how do I ensure that my prints don't go off the rails um, when I'm trying to start them off. And you know, I've tried things like alcohol and that seems to work a little bit, but not every time and sometimes not perfectly. I've tried rafts and brims. Those definitely improve the bed adhesion. The only part that I really don't like is the added time and the waste of material. You can see this is a ton of wasted plastic. You know, anything I can do to reduce the amount of plastic I'm using is good for my pocket. That's not the method that I'm gonna go into too much, but it does work. What I have found works the best is using a glue stick. Uh, I received one with one of the packages that I ordered of PLA. It works great. I just put a little bit on the area where the print's gonna go and everything sticks perfectly. There is some downsides though. Once you try and remove your part, it is stuck to the printer bed. Your printer should probably come with a scraper, but you know, I misplace stuff. So sometimes I end up spending some time looking for that. I should get better. It also creates this layer of hardened glue on your printer bed, which you have to remove to make sure that your future prints don't come out wonky, but it definitely saves a lot of time and a lot of material. That's why I think it's probably the best method you can use, or at least the best one I have found so far. I enjoy making mistakes so that you don't have to, so I attempted to pause and turn off a printer during a print to see if it would go back to the way it was when I paused it. Fortunately, the printer did start up again and go right back to what it was doing. Unfortunately, it was way above the part and it just started printing in the air and that's just useless, right? So I had to scrap that little project. So if anybody does know how I can pause a print and turn off my printer, please let me know. I would love to know how to do that. That's all for me today. If you like the video, please subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more content. Thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day.